Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transform on multiplication. Okay. So on left hand side, this is Laplace transform on multiplication. And right hand side, inverse Laplace transform on multiplication. So <clears throat> obviously f of s that will be known. So if Laplace of f of t, this is equals to f of s, then here multiplication means the variable t that will be multiplied, okay? Maybe single time, maybe two times, maybe three times, maybe n times, okay? Then Laplace of, Laplace of t to the power n. That means here the variable t is multiplied n times. So t to the power n into f of t. Okay, this is equals to minus 1 to the power n. Okay, and nth time derivative of the function f of s. That means dn dsn f of s. Okay. So if the given function f of t, this is multiplied by the variable t n times, then the result will be, a sign will be interchanged n times, okay, minus one to the power n and derivative, nth time derivative of the function f of s. Okay, now similarly for inverse Laplace transform. Here, if Laplace inverse, f of s, this is equals to f of t, then Laplace inverse of, in case of Laplace transform, t to the power n is multiplied. So obviously in case of inverse Laplace transform, s to the power n will be multiplied, okay? So Laplace inverse s to the power n f s, that is equals to f n Okay, f n t. Similarly, in this case, um, here f of zero, f dash zero, f double dash zero, all these values will be zero. f dash zero, f double dash zero, dot dot dot, all these values will be equals to zero. Okay, remember this point. So I am repeating, if Laplace of f of t, this is equals to f of s, then if t to the power n is multiplied, then the Laplace will be minus one to the power n and into into the uh, n times derivative of f of s. Okay. Similarly, in inverse Laplace transform, if s to the power n is multiplied, then just you have to derive n times the original function f of t. Okay. In case of Laplace transform, you have to uh, calculate the sign also plus or minus. But in case of inverse Laplace transform, the result will be there is no condition on sign. Just you have to derive f of t. Okay, let's solve a problem. Question. Find Laplace of Laplace of t square cos of 5t. t square cos of 5t. Solution. So first calculate Laplace of cos 5t because here f of t is equals to cos 5t. So Laplace of cos of 5t, this is equals to, you know, s by s square plus 25. Okay, now you have to apply Laplace of t square cos of 5t. You know the formula, minus one square d2 ds2 into s by s square plus 25. That means now you have to calculate two times derivative of s by s square plus 25, okay? So first calculate the single derivative, then we will calculate the double derivative, okay? So DDS of, let's say this is equation number one. DDS of s by s square plus 25. 
we will apply u by v formula okay so this is equals to s square plus 25 whole square s square plus 25 into derivative of s minus s into derivative of s square plus 25 that means 2s so you are getting this is equals to this is s square plus 25 and this is minus 2s square that means 25 minus s square divided by s square plus 25 whole square okay now double derivative d2 ds2 okay d2 ds2 of s by s square plus 25 okay that means dds of dds of this result dds of 25 minus s square divided by s square plus 25 whole square let's say this is second bracket okay so this is equals to square of the denominator so s square plus 25 whole to the power 4. Now s square plus 25 whole square that will be fixed into derivative of the uh, numerator 25 minus s square so that will be minus 2s okay minus. Now numerator will be fixed so 25 minus s square is fixed. Now you have to derive s square plus 25 whole square okay so that will be 2 into s square plus 25 Again, you have to derive s square plus 25, that means 2s. Okay, so this is equals to. <clears throat> so from here, you are getting actually here s square plus 25 whole square, and here you are getting s square plus 25. So s square plus 25 is common. Yes or no? s square plus 25 is common. So from here, you are getting s square plus 25 into minus 2s okay minus from here uh, 2 into 2s that means 4s into 25 minus s square whole divided by whole divided by s square plus 25 whole to the power 4 now from here s square plus 25 and this is s square plus 25 whole to the power 4 so one s square plus 25 that will be cancelled. So you are getting s square plus 25 whole cube. Okay. And the numerator is this is minus 2s cube minus 50s minus 100s minus minus plus 4s cube. So ultimately, you are getting <clears throat> 2s cube minus 150s whole divided by s square plus 25 whole cube. If you take common s, actually 2s, 2s is common. So you are getting s square minus 75s. 2s is common, so 75 divided by s square plus 25 whole cube okay this is the answer if i take common 2s so s square minus yes s square minus 75 divided by s square plus 25 whole cube okay this is the uh, final answer of the given function that means t square cos of 5t okay so in this way you can solve this type of problems let's try another question <coughs> Suppose this question is a very easy problem. Just you have to understand which formula you can apply. Question is find Laplace of find Laplace of t square minus 3t plus 2 into e to the power 5t. Okay. You can solve this problem in two methods. First method is using fast shifting property and second method is using multiplication formula. Okay, but multiplication formula that will be obviously very lengthy. Okay, so in question paper, 
uh, or in examination, obviously method will be uh, will not be mentioned. So you can use fast shifting property. Clear. So first I am solving this problem using fast shifting property. Then I will try to solve it uh, in multiplication formula also. Solution. <clears throat> first method. First method. So you know that when e to the power, that means exponential is multiplied, you can use fast shifting property. So first calculate Laplace of t square minus 3t plus 2. So Laplace of t square minus 3t plus 2. This is equals to, you can break it Laplace of t square minus 3 into Laplace of t plus 2 into Laplace of 1. So this is equals to Laplace of t square this is two factorial divided by s to the power two plus one. S to the power two plus one, that means three minus. Laplace of t is one by s square. So that will be three by s square. Plus two into Laplace of one means one by s, two by s, okay. So the final answer is two factorial means two. So two by s cube minus three by s square plus two by Yes. Okay. Now, if you want to solve this uh, question using actually, oh, the answer is not completed. Now you have to apply fast shifting property because here e to the power five t is multiplied. So Laplace of t square minus three t plus two into e to the power five t. So this is equals to. You know the fast shifting property. S will be uh, replaced by S minus A. Here A is equals to 5. So in place of S, you have to write S minus 5. So 2 by S minus 5 whole cube minus 3 by S minus 5 whole square plus 2 by S minus 5. Okay. This is the final answer okay now second method second method is using multiplication formula second method <clears throat> here the question is laplace of t square minus ct plus 2 into e to the power 5t okay so you can write it in this form Laplace of t square e to the power 5t minus 3 into Laplace of t e to the power 5t plus 2 into Laplace of e to the power 5t. Now, if you apply multiplication formula, so you have to calculate Laplace of e to the power 5t. And you know Laplace of e to the power 5t is 1 by s minus 5. That means in this portion, the result will be minus 1 square because t square is multiplied minus 1 square d2 ds2 and Laplace of e to the power 5t is 1 by s minus 5. Okay, so d2 ds2 1 by s minus 5. Clear? This is the first part. This part. Okay, now second part. <coughs> Second part is minus 3 into Laplace of t e to the power 5t. Formula is minus t into, sorry, minus 1 to the power 1 d ds into 1 by s minus 5. Okay, this is the second part. Now, last part. Last part is Laplace of e to the power 5t. So here you can write plus 2 into Laplace of e to the power 5t is 1 by s minus 5. Okay, now simple calculation. <clears throat> minus 1 square, so that will be plus 1, no problem. Now 1 by s minus 5 whole square, 2 times derivative. Okay, so first time derivative will be minus 1 by s minus 5 whole square. And the second derivative, that will be 2 by s minus 5 whole cube. Yes, 2 by s minus 5 whole cube. Okay, similarly, 
Here, this is minus one to the power one. That means minus, 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 plus. So plus three into three into derivative of one by s minus five. That means minus one by s minus five whole square. Okay, this is multiplication. Now plus two by s minus five. So ultimately, ultimately you are getting two by s minus five whole cube minus c by s minus five whole square plus two by s minus five. Okay, now you can verify the both results are same. Two by s minus five whole cube minus three by s minus five whole square plus two by s minus five. Okay, so obviously uh, fast shifting property that will be very easy. This, this method is very easy method. So if, uh, in question paper, method is not mentioned, then you can use fast shifting property also, okay? And if method is mentioned that you have to solve using multiplication formula, then obviously you have to use this method, okay? I hope multiplication rule is very simple now. Now try to solve textbook problems, okay? If you have any doubt, then you can ask me. And in my next video, I'll discuss Laplace transform on division okay this is multiplication and next video will be on division okay thank you so much